What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking that found me, my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Tales of the Walking Dead. And what did you think of the six different stories? Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, Tales of the Walking Dead, that's for sure. So as you can see in my thumbnail here, I got check marks and X's. So I liked four out of the six episodes. And I'm gonna talk about support for the stuff, people who liked it, people who didn't like it. But overall, it was something different. Evie and Joe, Blair and Gina, D, Amy, Dr. Everett, Devon, and LaDona. So it's definitely something that was outside the box and the realm that we're used to in the Walking Dead universe. You get an A for effort, but that being said, I think you missed the boat and missed great opportunities, which was simple to do. There were simple little things that you could have adjusted that would have made it better. Again, in my opinion, some people agree, some people don't. Some people love Tales of the Walking Dead. And I'm not here to say you're wrong, but I just think they could have changed something like Evie and Joe to go from Michigan to Ohio and end up at the Commonwealth. The Blair Gina thing, it would have been great if you explained if it was them dying. And I do like the theory of them dying and just going through their life over and over and over again, like what would be if you were a walker. But that's just a theory that was never explained or told to us. Now, I did like the D and Alpha episode, and a lot of people are asking the question, like, where's Beta? Does this get rid of things? It jumps around a little bit. And either way, it was a good story that we got to see someone from The Walking Dead. It was the only time we saw someone from The Walking Dead on this series. I would love to see that happen more and more if we get more seasons of it, but the Alpha episode was good. I love the Dr. Everett one for the chance of them going back to this character. All they had to do, in my opinion, was to have him be connected with the CRM, like he was a doctor of theirs, a scientist of theirs. By chance, or they made him work for him or something, it would have been an easy thing to have like a CRM logo. And that's all. The Devon stuff was cool, I liked it. It was an episode that made you wonder what was going on, and it was cool. And I've said it before and time and time again, I understand the fact that it's 45 minutes, not even 42, 43 minutes, to get the characters, the story, and then it's over, and then we don't see these characters again, potentially. As for the sixth episode, again, an A for effort, they tried different things. It just was all over the place, just too much, I don't know, it was just too many hallucinations and what's real, what's not, and then the way they died at the end was like, come on. It was just cheesy in my opinion, and it didn't fit the Walking Dead universe, but again, that's my own opinion. Now, two supporters here, I had a question and a poll question that asked which episode of Tales of the Walking Dead is worse? Episode two or six? Two episodes that I didn't like. And it's just a poll question. And then someone's like, I loved all six episodes. The series was meant to defy the norm of the rest of storytelling in the universe. And I think they did just that. The Walking Dead fan base is so toxic, to be honest. Not all content is going to be amazing, but get over yourself, which is hilarious, and stop being so negative. No one is forcing you to watch. People love to bring that up, like don't watch then. Yeah, right. We support the Walking Dead universe, and without the fan base that supports the Walking Dead universe, you wouldn't have these shows. Nobody would be watching it, and there'd be no money to come in, and they wouldn't even attempt it. So the fan base is not toxic. It's people like that that are saying other people are wrong that are the toxic ones. I'm not saying this person is right or wrong, but don't come at others because if someone asked a question in a poll question about episode two or six, which is worse, and the person got all mad about it and wrote their comments, like they're sticking up for a show, like the show needs a knight in shining armor to be like, thank you, you saved us for your kind words. Come on, relax, that's being toxic. I feel, in my opinion. Now, I've enjoyed Tales for what it is, an anthology look into the happenings in the world away from the main shows, freedom to be creative and not follow the norms the main show have set. So that's cool, I like that, that's just a different person. And it just makes sense. For everybody to like it for different reasons and not like it for different reasons, that's okay. These are discussion videos and it's interesting. And I'm not here to say one is right or wrong, but it's interesting when someone just sticks up for it and calls other people wrong. And it's just like, come on. It just, you don't need to do that at all. But either way, what did you think of Tales of the Walking Dead? I think it's a good, fun discussion video. And some people are going to love The Walking Dead no matter what it does. And some people are not. But I'm excited for The Walking Dead to return, the main show. You obviously see drop-offs from the main show to the spin-offs and all that stuff. Time, budget, story, whatever it is. There is a main drop-off from The Walking Dead 
of the other spinoffs in my opinion, but hurry up October 2nd. I'm also excited for the Rick and Michonne show. I think that's going to be the best one in my opinion because Rick and Michonne coming back to the Walking Dead universe, we need it. But also the Daryl stuff could be good, could be terrible. We'll have to wait and see. And of course, Dead City. But thank you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you guys.